In the endless expanses of space, each celestial body holds its own secrets. One of the most fascinating among them is Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. For decades, astronomers and scientists have been trying to unravel the mysteries of Titan. And now, we finally have the first clear images of this awe-inspiring world. What have these images revealed? Are there signs of life? Or evidence of geological activity that could revolutionize our ideas about moons and planets? Join us as we embark on a unique voyage of discovery to Titan and show you the latest images. The Rocky Moon, Titan No other celestial body in the solar system is as similar to Earth as Titan. Titan is a little smaller, a little lighter, and of course it's not a planet, it's a moon. But the fact is that astronomers don't currently know how moons really form. Since the largest of them resemble small planets like Mercury, Mars, or even the Earth, these celestial bodies may once have been planetoids. Due to the gravity of gas giants like Saturn, they were bound to an orbit around the big planets and do not orbit the Earth. Nevertheless, Earth-like conditions may exist on a rocky moon like Titan. And currently, moons in the solar system are the hottest candidates for the discovery of life. Researchers have known since the 1990s that Titan has similarities to Earth. But because the moon is shrouded in a dense atmosphere, it was impossible to see from Earth exactly what was happening on the surface. Finally, in 1997, the time had come. The Cassini-Huygens mission took off for Saturn, and on January 14, 2005, something never before seen in space travel occurred. On that day, the Huygens probe landed on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. It was the first and so far only time a probe has landed on an object in the outer solar system. During its two-hour, 27-minute journey through the dense, nebulous haze, this probe provided the first fascinating images from an Earth-like world. At NASA's control center, these moments were the event of the century. Technicians, engineers, and scientists watched Huygens' flight to the surface with excitement. No one knew what the probe's flight would reveal. Mountains, lakes, and water, or even life forms? At first, only an orange-brown haze was visible, but as the probe dropped lower and lower, the cloud began to clear about 50 kilometers above the surface. Very slowly, never-before-seen images revealed themselves before the eyes of onlookers. First, a dark valley stood out between lighter, hilly regions. Beyond some hills, two dark parallel lines became visible, which researchers identified as part of a huge dune system. Dunes make up a large part of Titan's surface. However, Titan is not only covered by mountains and sandy deserts like Mars. There are actually lakes and seas on Titan. Huygens' landing approach revealed a complex network of drainage channels making their way through the hillside. Today, researchers already know that these landscapes were not formed by water. Titan has very little water. Instead, most of the lakes and oceans are filled with liquid methane, and it probably rains methane on Titan as well. Unfortunately, Huygens had a minor communication problem during the mission, resulting in only 376 images being sent to the parent probe Cassini instead of the planned 700. Almost half of the images taken were lost forever. All those space enthusiasts who had hoped to get images of alien cities and never-before-seen creatures from Huygens were bitterly disappointed by the mission. Huygens' images are fascinating, but once again, they show only images of rock, dust, and barren worlds. So far, not a single sign of life is visible. What do we know about Titan now? Despite the failure of image transmission, Titan's landscapes were seen in unprecedented detail. In just a few hours, the moon went from a fuzzy orange ball to a real tangible world in people's minds. Images from the surface showed a flat plain and many scattered pebbles. The landing region did not allow any conclusions about current fluid activity, but resembled a dried-up lake or riverbed. In the distance, on the horizon, small hills are visible. Later analysis of the images revealed that the pebbles scattered across the landscape were actually rock-hard frozen water. At the landing site, Huygens measured a temperature of negative 180 degrees Celsius, very little wind, and no cloud structures were visible in the sky only dense haze. After 72 minutes, Huygens' signal disappeared because its batteries were exhausted. Traces of life? 
Of course, the disappointment was also great among scientists that Titan was not a water world and no trace of life could be found. Imagine if Huygens had landed in a forest or sent pictures of a creature scurrying by. Some would probably have been delighted with joy, while others would have gotten a shock. Views of extraterrestrial rocky worlds with no signs of life and strike a chord. Are we really the only ones? And is Earth the only celestial body with organic life, such as microbes or bacteria? Many scientists don't want to give up despite the initial results of the mission. There may be simple life on Titan and in the seas and lakes, even if they are made up of methane. In the laboratory, researchers proved that microbes can also live on the basis of methane. A team of researchers from the US proved this, as did a group from France. The exploration continues. Mission Dragonfly NASA is certain the exploration of Titan must continue. Dragonfly is to take the exploration of the Moon to the next level. The drone will launch as early as 2027 and will set off on its first exploration flights on Titan in 2034. We've seen too little of Titan to judge. Imagine aliens landing a probe in the Sahara and saying, Aha! Sand! Nothing else and no life! Just as well a probe could land in the middle of the ocean and show no signs of humans or our culture. There are dozens of such landscapes on Earth that would not really reveal what is going on, and we may have had a similar situation with the Huygens mission. Dragonfly will make small flights over Titan's surface similar to the Mars helicopter, Ingenuity. Ingenuity was actually an experimental object, limited to only a few hours by some technicians who wanted to construct a helicopter suitable for space missions. But the probe flies and flies and accompanies the rover Perseverance, now going on for months. One attempt turned into a gigantic success, and the Dragonfly concept will soon continue the success story. Helicopters and drones like these are much better suited to exploring large spaces on moons or planets than relatively ponderous rovers can be. Dragonfly will not only find out if Titan is or ever was inhabited, but will also search for complex chemistry that provides evidence of life. Of course, the probe will also be equipped with a camera. In addition to a set of microscopic cameras, the probe will also have a panoramic camera on board. So, from 2034, we can once again look forward to never-before-seen impressions of an alien world and new, breathtaking images. A day on Titan To give you a foretaste of what this world looks and probably feels like, let's take a look at what a day on Titan would be like. In many years from now, it's not to be excluded that humans will live temporarily on Titan to explore the Moon. The first astronauts who would set foot in this world would probably feel like they're in a science fiction movie. In front of them, these people would see a world that somehow seems familiar and yet is completely different. The sky is yellowish and the surrounding landscape reddish. The brightness of the moon is subdued throughout the day, almost like a twilight evening on Earth. The sun's rays would be felt, though nowhere near as intense and distinct as ours. The sun can certainly be seen as a bright dot in the hazy sky, but clearly it would never be visible. At night, no stars would be visible, the haze does not allow the light of the stars to penetrate to the surface. It's probable that the environment is quiet, and very quiet even. Except for the wind, nothing can be heard, and it's extremely cold, with temperatures as low as negative 179 degrees Celsius. Humans can survive here only in thick, protective spacesuits with integrated oxygen systems and heating. If any of the ambient odors were to penetrate through the thick protection, an earthy or methane-like smell would probably be detectable. A day in this world lasts 15.945 Earth years. So, Titan rotates very slowly on its axis. In the same period of time, the Moon orbits Saturn once, and together with Saturn, the Moon orbits the Sun in 29.5 Earth years. Nobody knows just yet how stays in worlds far away from Earth affect the organs and the psyche of humans. It's probable that astronauts who would set foot in this world would stay only briefly in this world and return to Earth after a few weeks, months, or at most a year. Other Moons with the Prospect of Life Although Titan has so far shown us no evidence of life, the prospects of finding traces of life on other moons in the system are also very good. Take Europa, for example, one of Jupiter's moons. 
Beneath its icy surface slumbers an ocean of liquid water that may contain more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. This dazzling white world is crisscrossed with reddish and brown lines breaking through the ice to form an impressive pattern. Enceladus is another of Saturn's moons with a vibrant water world. The spectacular geyser moons spew water vapor into space, and this water may contain evidence of microbial life. Telescope scans have already provided evidence for organic molecules, nitrogen, and tiny silica particles. Ganymede orbits Jupiter and is the largest moon in the solar system. The subsurface ocean, which far exceeds the volume of all Earth's water reserves, could harbor simple forms of life, as do all the other moons mentioned. Ganymede also has a varied surface with craters, hills, and valleys. Neptune's moon Triton is the final candidate in this series that could harbor oceans and life beneath its surface. In the coming decades, a whole series of probes will be launched to these moons. Some missions are even expected to be equipped with drills to dig deep into the ice. It's difficult to predict if and when we will find definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life. Some scientists are optimistic and believe these missions will finally provide the evidence. Others are more cautious, emphasizing that the universe is large and complex, and that the search for life may be more difficult than we currently imagine. How do you feel about Titan, the other moons, and the possibility of finding life there? Would it be surprising or nice for you to know that there are bacteria on a moon? Or would it have to be fantastic worlds like the fictional Avatar moon to impress you?